you were treating me like shit last night. Why did you say I'm sober right now? Why Lindsay, not say I'm I sober? I am sober. Then why say right now? In the minute, in that moment, you are not. Then you drink all day long and are rude and aggressive to me when I'm trying to be supportive. I was, no one was You really shut me down and tell me I'm fighting you. That is so up. I'm You're not. You're screaming at me. Right? Because I'm upset, okay? Well. I'm allowed to be upset. I'm allowed to have emotions. Have you ever heard of that? You're allowed to get pissed off and do whatever the you want. I don't scream. I'm not screaming. You are screaming. I'm frustrated. Get some rest. Oh my god. Look at that cute butt. Look at that cute little butt. The whole potty. Yeah. Take her. Hi. Hello. Reese, go potty. Reese, go potty. I do want to do one cannonball for you. You want to jump in the pool? And yeah. Uh... Reese, Ryder. Little sluts, get over here. Huh. Right it, it was really like I was just she had a kind of a weird feeling yeah that she wasn't in the other car and mm -hmm. Kyle and I were like no everything's all good and she was like just wait you see it's gonna be a problem and I'm like no I know and then I continued in the car yeah. and, we're like, and she's like you're attacking me but I'm not attacking very calm yeah who is this you boy how are you feeling <laughs> I didn't black out. I browned. Yeah. Yeah. Like if someone asked, if someone out. brought up a memory, a I could probably find it somewhere. Find it somewhere. You, oh. you feel good? You look great. Um, Danielle, what time did you guys stay out until? Apparently, Jesse took us home, Kyle and I, at 1 something 52. Hi, you look very handsome right now. It's a girl, so she's gorgeous and beautiful. I know, but handsome works for girl dogs. Uh, let's check on that cooler situation. How are you? I slept in Gabby's bed and I tried to go in there this morning and I was like, you weren't nice last night. And he got really defensive and was like cutting me off. Bro, I'm trying to tell you how I felt last night. You're cutting me off. You're talking over me. Your tone is going up. It's all this morning? Yeah, and then you're telling me I'm not listening to you. Old Carl the more life Carl was very dismissive and aggressive. I have absolute PTSD from that Carl. So let's just be adults and just go, yeah, you're right. Let's let's have fun, more life. I don't give you shit about stuff. You're vulnerable, I listen. I don't make excuses. What? It's not a f***ing excuse. Like, life is good. We're not dating, like, we're having fun, we're friends. Oh, we're not dating. No, we're not. Did you at any point think that Carl was not sober? No. Why did you feel like you wanted to tell him you're not acting sober, you're not sober? Yeah, I mean, listen, like, I 1,000% like should have used a lot more delicate words in that moment. But I'm like so taken aback by his aggressiveness in this moment. And I'm trying to figure out like where it's coming from. And he is treating me in a way that is like startling. Like he, and it's very much old Carl. Oh man. Oh. I mean, dude, thank you for like talking to me last night and making stay. Can I just be honest? I feel like you kind of needed like a couple witnesses. Yeah. The thing that she kept saying that really rubbed me weird was like, what are you on? Yeah. I love Lindsay to death, but like the, my biggest issue as a friend for years has been like, she just never takes accountability, responsibility. She never owns up. Like the way I deal with her is I just kind of either fall on the sword and be like, yeah, you're right, you're right. 
or you just don't deal. Yeah. That's worked for me, but like it doesn't work if you're in your shoes. Sure. But I don't, I don't want to blame her on it because I'm. I, Carl, we, Carl, last night was unacceptable. Yeah. I've heard her say some crazy shit in the past, but this is next level. I mean, this is literally taking all the work Carl's been putting in and stripping that away. I could see you trying to like make compromises and sacrifices, be like, oh, maybe I'll go home. Like, what do I need to do? Like, you're basically trying to solve the problem. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to. Last night, she was the problem. Wedding is in what, November? It's yeah. July. I mean, does it freak you out? It it scares me and it, it's it's sad. It makes me sad more than anything. What, what worries me is like how many times does something go down like that where she's pinning it on you when it literally had nothing to do with you? Cause that's a long life of like falling on the sword. Yeah. Like how many times are you gonna do that? Uh -huh.